my name is Stephanie Vlachos. I'm a postdoctoral scholar in Todd Neistel's lab here at the UCSF Parnassus campus. The specific area of research, research that I'm interested in and that I've been studying is um, how stem cells talk to their neighboring cells to maintain their, them in their home, what we call a stem cell niche. Um, we work with um, Drosophila and I'm specifically interested in the intestinal stem cell. Um, and this largely pertains to um, all types of cancers, so not just cancers that affect the intestine, but um, we're interested in how cancers first form. And if there is a link between cancer and stem cells, um, how does a mutation in a stem cell talk to its neighbors um, and affect neighboring stem cells to then um, kind of start off cancers before tumors even develop. I am one of two Canadians in our lab. Um, I grew up in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. My mom was um, you know, admin human resources um, for various companies. My dad um, who was Greek. Um, we had a family restaurant growing up because all Greek families have a restaurant going at growing up. So um, from a very young age I was kind of put to work and was shown that um, you need to work hard to get what you want. And science was always something that really interested me. I knew I always wanted to be either like a nurse or a doctor and I don't know if that was my mom's doing but um, I just kind of followed what I was always curious in and that always happened to be cells and science and um, just kind of by default ended up in a lab at my old university during my undergrad and as my old supervisor would say that I just never left. In the project that I've been working on I've kind of had to pioneer myself um, teach myself a lot of things um, use the resources around UCSF um, so networking mainly, um, asking for a lot of help and I think um, things took some while to get going but um, now you know a few years in I can say we've made some progress and are um, pursuing putting together a paper in the next few months so I think things are pretty good. I usually roll into the lab depending on the day. Um, sometimes it's as early as 8, sometimes it's as late as 10.30. But usually it starts off the same way, just kind of getting set up here, you know, get started on some reactions, or I have to travel to the Mission Bay campus to pick up some samples. So when I collect samples, I have to put them in a form that's really easy to analyze. And so for some of the questions that I'm trying to answer, um, I have to get the tissue as flat as possible because it makes imaging a lot easier so it's not you know a wavy um, piece of tissue but something that's flat and everyone else in the lab we try to do things right away so as soon as we harvest some tissues um, we fix them in the way that preserves the um, structure of the cells um, maintain the proteins that are there um, and then we stain them for various antibodies and Depending on what we're looking at, we prepare those tissues in a specific way um, and we have to also be very delicate because the tissues are quite fragile. Just the possibility of getting new results that are intriguing and um, allow for more questions to be asked. That's what keeps not just my interest in coming into the lab every day or keeps me excited to come into the lab every day, but just to keep that keeps me interested in the project at all and science at all, you know, just, you know, finding results that provoke more questions and um, expand our brain. I've learned so much in the last couple of years just from working on my own project and that's really exciting to me and I guess for as much as we know about cells and stem cells and the human body, we still know very little and, you know, as results come um, and technology develops and progress, we can develop new tools. Um, that's really beneficial to the medical science field. So whether it's, you know, new drugs or um, new technology that allows us to detect cancer or any other disease earlier, um, I think that's where the benefit lies. Maybe a decade from now, five decades from now, our work will have contributed to something greater and that's exciting to me.